Two days ago on this program, wealthy landlords Fergus, Will, Fergus and Judith Wilson told their tenants to keep their heads down if they were on benefits and everything would be just fine. It followed their decision to evict everyone claiming benefits, whether they were in rent arrears or not. Well, this program has met one tenant, a single mother, forced to raise her head when her heating broke down and you guessed it, everything isn't just fine. Our business correspondent Siobhan Kennedy has a story. It's not every landlord that becomes as notorious as Mr Fergus Wilson has this week. His decision to evict all his tenants on benefit has caused a national uproar. Not that it seems to have rubbed off on him. Where's your duty of care to her? I don't have a duty of care. I'm a private sector landlord. Tenants like Gemma Jupe. She looks the picture of happiness here with her nine-week-old daughter, Casey. But in fact, this 25-year-old single mum is in a desperate state. She faces imminent eviction, not because she's late on her rent or has been a bad tenant, simply because she receives housing benefit to top up her monthly salary. And Mr Wilson has decided people like her are no longer welcome. It all started when she emailed Mr Wilson about a broken radiator. Within half hour of the email, he phoned and said, are you on benefits? And I said, well, I'll get help. Mm. But he knew that when you moved and he, in? Yeah, they knew from the start. I, I told him everything. And then he said, January, um, I want you out. And I was just like, what? Gemma's been in the flat since April and says she's always paid her rent on time. Obviously, you could understand if I was a bad tenant, like noisy neighbour and stuff, complaints, fair enough. But because I'm not, everything's been paid. Why can't he just let it be? Why can't he just let it be? Well, Mr Wilson says he feels for her, but over half of his housing benefit tenants have fallen into arrears, so he's decided to pull the plug on the rest too. And you will always have casualties in every situation. She is a lady who has done nothing wrong at all, but she is part of the 50%, just under 50%, who are on benefits and not defaulted, and slightly over 50%, 52%, something like that have actually defaulted on benefits. We've taken the clinical decision to put out everybody on benefits. So what does that make her? <coughs> well, it makes her homeless. It makes her entitled to be housed by the council. It means that, uh, in reality, bed and breakfast for her. In fact, Mr Wilson's move doesn't actually entitle Gemma to anything from the council. They've told her to wait until she's legally evicted, which could make it much harder for her to get rented accommodation in the future. In the meantime, it's back to an overcrowded mum's house. While Mr Wilson's approach may seem unnecessarily harsh, he's not alone. Up and down the country, landlords are beginning to clamp down on their tenants on benefits, either evicting them or refusing to take new ones on. One of the main reasons is the upcoming changes to the benefit system, which means landlords like Gary Silver in Manchester won't be able to receive rent payments directly from the council. Thanks very much. Just the six monthly inspection. <laughs> Instead, tenants will be responsible for themselves, leaving landlords fearing that rent won't be paid. As the houses come free, unless we can get a guarantor or unless the government change this, this, uh, this ruling, we're just not going to take housing benefit tenants. We'll be taking working tenants, converting some properties to student lets, and some of our landlords are actually selling some of the portfolios. But it's the outspoken well, Fergus Wilson and his wife Judith in Kent who've sparked the most controversy. In an interview with Channel 4 News earlier this week, they had this advice for tenants on benefits. We feel there are a lot of people out there that need to get off their backsides and basically go and find a job. What I'm not behind are the people I see when I walk down the street, youngsters, age, end of 20s, early 30s, not working, not wanting to work and finding all the excuses under the world. And that is the real problem. People have got to take responsibility for their lives. Employment is the passport to getting a house. Gone are the days when you could rely on housing benefit. But Gemma has got off her backside and does have a job as a carer in a residential home. Yet that doesn't seem to have helped her and her two daughters. So how does it make you feel about your future? How are you feeling? It's just really stressful, especially with a newborn baby. Connie as well, it ruins their routine. It's going to be hard. 
The local council has this evening told this programme it has contacted Gemma to talk her more fully through the options available to her and advise anyone else threatened with homelessness to get in touch as early as possible. Siobhan Kennedy reporting.